He's a very funny guy, and tonight he is making his television debut. Please give him a warm welcome. This is Jim Gaffigan. All right. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, start laughing. That's good. You lead them, Missy. Let's go. Oh, wait. Let's go. Actually, that's what my dad would do. My dad would just demand that people have a good time. He'd just be like, just go out there and be in a good mood. And he'd be like, Dad, it's a funeral. He'd be like, I don't care. Go over there and smile next to the casket. I want to take some pictures. Now prop up your grandma's head. Yeah, bastard. My dad. I've been playing phone tag with my dad for like the past three weeks. I've come to the conclusion that my father knows absolutely nothing about technology. Because I've lived alone for five years. I've had the same answering machine message, which is, hi, this is Jim, please leave a message. To this day, if I'm not home, my dad will leave the same message on my answering machine. It'll go, beep. <coughs> Hello. Tell Jim his dad called. <laughs> Who's he talking to? <laughs> yeah, damn, my answering machine. Tell me he called. I would have called earlier, but the toaster told me I was hungry. <laughs> He's not insane or anything. He's just retired, you know? <laughs> Ever since my father retired, he gets on crazes. Like, his latest craze is butter. I'm not making this up. I was talking to him, he's like, <clears throat> Jim, I've just had the best butter of my life. <laughs> Dad, you need something to do, okay? <laughs> then he felt the need to inform me that the butter was made by the, <clears throat> the Amish. <laughs> of course, he meant the Amish, but he's never been able to pronounce anything. One time he asked me, he goes, <clears throat> Jim, have you ever been to Cancun? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What travel agent are you using? <laughs> Luckily, he has mellowed out, though. You know, he used to be so intense. You know, like when I was growing up, getting ready for college, he sat me down and he goes, <clears throat> Jim, I'm not sending you to college so you can get drunk and flunk out. <laughs> well, then I'm not going. <laughs> like a Santa neighbor or something. I don't want to misrepresent it, though. I'm actually very close with my father. I talk to him, like, once a week on the phone. And we have great conversations. It's every, every conversation has to be about stand-up, you know? He always wants to suggest something, you know? So every conversation leads to the point where he goes, <coughs> Jim, here's a really cute story for your act. It's, like, it's always the most random thing. It's always like, <coughs> I was shoveling four weeks ago. I had on a pair of gloves where the damn gloves fell apart. So I call up those bastards at Sears. Jim, why don't you use that in your act? <laughs> yeah, Dad, I think my answering machine wants to talk to you. <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah. A lovely audience, and I, I love how half of you are looking at me like, that is the whitest man in the world. <laughs> No, I feel it's like the first thing no people notice about me. You know, I could be skipping down Broadway right now, juggling dildos, and people would say, look at how pale he is. Huh? Wow, he's white. Yeah. Actually, my goal in life is to marry a very first skin redhead and have invisible children. Wouldn't that be cute? And now I'm going bald, too, which I think, I like to think it's just God's way of saying, now let's see you get laid. obvious I'm not originally from New York City. I'm, I'm from Jamaica. And I'm in a reggae band called You Be Really White. And... No, I'm actually from Indiana, yeah. Like, thank you. Just one person, the rest of you are like... See, I love telling people I'm from Indiana, yeah, especially New Yorkers, because you guys are so condescending, you know, it's always like, you're from Indiana? Well, welcome. It's electricity. This is a shoe. This is a wall made out of wood, not grass. <laughs> Indiana is a great state. If you're unfamiliar with it, well, here's something you'll never hear in Indiana. 
Nice tux. Anyway. <laughs> I suppose I'm white trash. My, uh, my uncle, he's really white trash, though. He has an Elvis plate in his head. <laughs> I think that's overdoing it. <laughs> See, you guys are nice, but I gotta be honest with you. I don't need an audience. I don't need laughs or anything like that, because I have Jesus. <laughs> and he's locked up in my apartment. <laughs> and he's laughing if he wants water, he is. I don't mean to offend anyone, you know. I, I don't mean anything against born against, you know. I just went out with this girl. She was, like, fundamental. She was so intense, though. She kept on demanding that I go to a Bible study class. So I would joke around with her. I'd call her up, and she'd say, Who is this? And I'd just go, The devil. <laughs> you gotta play with them. They're good natured. I'd ask her, so, so am I going to heaven or hell? And she'd be like, Well, why do you want to know so bad? Because I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'd quiet her down. Single in New York, you know. It's great being single in this society, though, because people are so nice to you, aren't they? They're always like, don't worry, there's someone out there for you. It's like so degrading. It's like, don't worry, the sun even shines on the ass of a dog. <laughs> Losers get lucky. A blind pig will find an acorn. McDonald's hires the retarded. <laughs> No problem. You know, being single is not that bad in New York, but I do go crazy in this city. You know? I can never imagine my father living in New York. You know? I can just see him dealing with some Egyptian cab driver. And, uh, <coughs> okay, Mohammed. I don't speak hieroglyphics, but give me the Empire State Building. You bastard. What's that smell? And that music. What are you, circumcising a yak? Slow down, we're not meeting out at a night. <laughs> you bastard. That's all for me, thank you very much. Jim Jeff again. Hi, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you want. If you want to see more stand up, I have more stand up, or if you want to see an original show like Let's Get Cooking or The Mike and Pat Show. That's available on my channel, but also just know that I'll be posting a new video every day during this pandemic or until the world ends. Please hit subscribe and turn on your alert or notification button.